welcome to Let's Learn English with Jeff YouTube channel. It's me, Jeff. Today's the lesson 11. It's the lesson 11 at the doctor office, which means if you are sick or ill, and when you have gotten disease, right? And you go to your doctor's office, how you will explain your condition in English today. We'll learn those all stuff in this video, right? You learn some words, sentences, and pure words and phrases, those all stuff in classes in this video, which you will use during conversation with your daughters right if you are a daughter you will have a conversation which type of words you will use with a patient if you are a patient which type of words you will use with a doctor you will learn today in this video if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel learn English with Jeff in order to get the latest notification of my videos and in the from informative videos and how to and how to improve your English in order to improve your English and how to improve your English just subscribe to my channel you will get to know how to improve your English because I'm going to, in every video I explain some of the tips and I show to you some of the tips how you can improve your English right and today's video I'll also tell you one of another trick how you can speak your listening power right today's video I will send At the end of this video I will tell you about that so watch this video till the end of to tell the end so let's begin today's topic right which is at the, about at the daughter's office. For example, if you are in the hospital or in the daughter's office, you are having an appointment with that and how you will use, which type of words you will use and how you will consider your daughter, right? The first person we meet in the hospital, that is a nurse, if that's available. Nurse is a daughter's eye, means the daughter's helper is called a nurse, the one who helped the daughter's in order to take the patient blood pressure, uh, term, body temperature, mean and help of thermometers, is all stuff are checked by the nurse. And they keep also some of the details of the patient. This patient needs it has this type of disease and this and that daughters you can check out his blood pressure is this and that because they have the daughters because they don't nowadays daughters have so many patients they don't have that much time to check everyone blood pressure each and everything right then a daughter the daughter one who treats the patient is called a doctor patient patient one who is sick or ill that's called call a patient medi or medicine medicine mean drugs that the, the, the medicine that has been prescribed by a daughter is called a medicine the drugs that has been described by a doctor is called medicine, right? Pills, pills mean tablets, right? Tablets, tabs are called pills, and if that was in liquid form, serum likes, right? Then they are not called pills. They are called serums and such other steps, right? Okay. If you do go to your daughter's, and the first question of doctor is what? What seem to be the problem? What seem to be the problem? In order to get information from the patient, they will use, if you are a daughter, you will use this, you will use this sentence. What seem to be the problem? Right? In order to get the, in order to get information, in order to get information which type of disease the patient has, you will use this, uh, this sentence. What seem to be the problem? Okay. Wow. Well mean, hey, well this is used by patient, right? If a doctor asks you, like, what seem to be the problem? And if I'm a patient, so they say, I, well, I have a sore throat. I cannot speak very well. I have my body is aching. I think my, I have also some temperature, and I'm completely tired. In that type of condition, you will use wow well, in order to think a bit what type of diseases you have, what type of things you have experienced, and you a bit think, right? Okay, a bad cough. For example, this is or the name of disease. For example, if you are coughing so much, you will say <coughs> if you are coughing, this is called coughing. So right, if you have or badly coughing, like <coughs> so much coughing you are, in that case you say I have bad cough. If you are also having sore throat with a the cough, then you say I have sore throat. And right, uh, sore throat, a headache. If you are headache facing facing like, if your head is aching, so you say I have a headache. Right, if your head is spinning, so you say my head is spinning. If you are, you feel that you are going to omit, so is, or you are omitting, so you say I am omitting. Right vomit i've omitted so much right okay my head was spinning i was feeling drowsy i was feeling unconscious i think my blood pressure is low you will describe about your disease right all right when you say well after that you will explain this type of words right in order to get information about your disease to her, to the to the doctor if you have dengue malaria quid 19 or any type of other disease so you will explain to your doctor they will first ask you well after no they will ask what seems to be the problem and he the patient will use well they will think and then we'll explain about the problem right okay about 
Okay, when they will say they ask you like about so like when doctors mostly ask since how long you are facing this problem, say so you most doctors ask how long you have been suffering from chill and fever, right? So you say about three to four days or five to six days. It's been a week. It's been one day. It's two since last night. About last night. About two or three days, but about is using this when you duration is more than one day, so you'll say about two to three days about about means more or less than two days right okay takes aspirin get get more get rest max okay make sure okay for example if you have doctor has described pills for you or they have described some of the medicine for you or drugs for you and and you are gonna leave before that doctors will give you some instruction to you right and then in that instruction they will what will they say they'll say get rest if you're feeling tired and they say get rest don't go to work and take plenty of medicines that i have prescribed you on that time okay don't go on walking don't carry heavy weight this and that thing and make sure that you are gonna get plenty of rest and because you're tired patient needs rest right okay still sick for example still sick still sick me if you are after being prescribing of doctors medicine and all the stuff that has been prescribed to you and still you are facing a problem that problem is what what is that problem you know that problem is continuing for example you have gotten bad disease or any type of disease and that disease continues after even taking those all pills and those all stuff then they will still if you are still sick after having having these all stuff mean having this medicine that which I have just prescribed for you mean doctors they have prescribed for you when your doctor doctor will say that I have this prescribed for you after taking those all pills instead if you are facing what problem right of chills and fevers in those all things then call me back and say call me then call me then you will call to doctor and say still this problem then and then what I do they will tell you okay change this 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 medicine and that medicine I'm gonna drop message you or text you one of the negative new medicines eat of this cure is that medicine okay we have learned words right phrases sentences and these also but in order to improve our English what this is required English is a skill and skills only can be improved by practice the more you practice the more you can become fluent speaker and the less you practice the less you become fluent speaker of English so guys let's do practice it's time for practice go to the description of this video join whatsapp group of mine let's learn English as you join the WhatsApp group, start practicing with anyone. You can start practice with each and every individual of participant of that group. Because all are want to participate and all want to do practice in order to improve their English. I'm also a member of that group. And if you are having any question regarding this lecture or any other type of question you are having in your mind in order to improve your English, then you can ask me in that WhatsApp group. If you don't understand these things, you can also ask me in that, ask me in that group. Even though you can also get the notes of this lesson and PDF or in hot and soft form in that whatsapp group right so i'm going to open some notes what is the benefit of notes to help or to it's a type of guidance right like it helps to guide you for practices you will have words but how to use those words and sentences right accurately so notes help us only in that in usage so let's begin I mean let me open my notes Okay, we are here. We are gonna. We are going to see in this notes only two characters. One is daughters. The second is patient. Her name is Katie. Daughter, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem, Katie? Well, I have bad cough, sore throat, and I also have a headache. Daughter, how long have you been? Oh, how have you had these symptoms? How long you have? had these symptoms I mean how long have been of these symptoms that you are having these all start problems right Kelly about three days now I am really tired to daughter hmm it sounds like you are have got the flu take aspirin every four hours and get plenty of rest make sure you drink lots of fluids call me if you still stick next week Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. So let me explain this in Urdu, right? These notes and not what we're gonna see. And the, yeah, notes from our past two characters. Yeah, but a daughter, say, carry female. Uh, daughter, kya kya 
मसला क्या है भाई तो क्या डिगा वाल अच्छा आई हैव बैड कफ मुझे बहुत कांसी है मतलब बुरी कांसी है और सोर तरह गले का खराश भी है सर भी मेरे सर में भी दर्द है डॉटर क्या कर फॉर्मवाते मतलब क्या पूछते अपने पेशन से हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू हैड दिस सैंपल्स कब से ये सारे मसले चल रहे हैं भाई कह रही अबाउट 3 डेज नाउ मतलब 3 दिन हो गए आज से यानी 3 दिन से हो सकता है 2 दिन हो गए या 3 दिन या 3 से ज्यादा ही हो सकते हैं एंड आई एम ओके एंड आई एम वेरी टाइट टू और मुझे बहुत टक्की हुआ अभी टक्की हुई भी वो कह रही अब ओके डॉटर्स कहता हूँ हम्म इट साउंड्स लाइक यू हैव गॉट फ्लू इसका मतलब है आपको जुकाम है टेक्स एस्प्रिन एवरी फोर आवर्स एंड गेट प्लांटी ऑफ फ्रेश एंड मेक शर्ट यू ड्रिंक लॉस ऑफ फ्लाइट्स डॉटर्स फरमाते हैं कि अच्छा तो इसका मतलब आपको जुकाम है आप चार चार घंटे के बाद एस्प्रिन टैबलेट्स का नाम है वोले एंड गेट प्लांटी ऑफ क्योंकि दौरान आपके बदन से ज्यादा पानी खर्च होता है एंड दैट केस इन फ्लू और कफिंग में आपका बहुत सारे बॉडी का जो पानी होता है वो ऑपरेशन के थ्रू एक्सक्रीट हो जाता है तो इन ऑर्डर टू इंप्रूव उसकी जगह लेने के लिए तो आप क्या करते हैं पानी को ज्यादा से ज्यादा पिए ओके इफ यू स्टिल सिक डॉक्टर फरमा देगा फिर भी आप बीमार हो नेक्स्ट वीक ओके स्टिल सिक नेक्स्ट ओके कॉल मी इफ यू स्टिल सिक अच्छा डॉक्टर नेक्स्ट वीक डॉक्टर फरमा देगा अगर आपको फिर भी बीमार है तो भाई मुझे फिर नेक्स्ट हफ्ते आप कॉल करें क्या ठीक है ओके थैंक्स अच्छा सही है शुक्रिया तो सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न व्हाट वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्सेट विद द डॉक्टर एंड हाउ डॉक्टर विल कन्वर्सेट विद हिज पेशेंट एंड वी हैव लर्न द नेम ऑफ डिजीजेस राइट सो गाइस इफ यू आर गोना हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम व्हाइल स्पीकिंग व्हाइल स्पीकिंग English, you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you are having any type of problem in this lesson, you can ask me also in the comment section of below. Okay, I was talking about how you can improve your listening, right? How you can improve your listening, guys? Okay, just listen to American movies. Just listen to them. How they are gonna spoke words and try to grab them. Try to understand them what they are saying. Okay, you have here a you are hearing a sound with a title, with a subtitle, with the title, with the lyrics. As you are hear a sound, you are hearing a sound, you are listening to a sound, song. Sorry, not sound, sound, and uh, you hearing for five to ten minutes, right? And after that, you need to write those on what I hear this in that word, and then check out with the lyrics if that's accurate. And you are speaking. Then you are in, then in the, then your listening is improved. If still facing the problem, mean you are have written something else and they are saying something else. It's mean you whatever I saying and what's my guitar saying. It sounds like it's in Persian. It says that muchi mega man dum bure muchi mega, right? In Persian it says like what the singer is saying and what you have written will be completely difficult if your listening power is weak. When you grab. accurately stuff you write accurately so how you can improve your listening in listening power by playing pause write down then play pause then write down right how you can improve your listening so thanks for watching next see you next lesson till that may allah bless